I just realised I muted myself on stream. They couldn't hear me, so but they just sat in silence for a minute. Um, what I'm saying is two teams, top of the league, top of the tables. You know, there's a bit of rivalry in that. You know, so we're going to be seeing, I think, really good gameplay, but also like uh, maybe some emotions behind it because ultimately th these are probably you know the close the people that they're looking at when they're looking at you know who's going to win it all. So I mean. Uh, it is yeah, you've got some, these are these are some of the most important games, aren't they? Mm. You know, come the end of the season, these are some of the decision making games. Yeah. Now with that, I think we're we're about ready to head into map one. I'm, if, uh... I'm ready as you are. Yeah, lovely. So we're going into Antarctic Peninsula. Mm. <laughs> they do you. I, I, I am ready indeed. The other thing is, yeah, count us in. Yeah. There we are. Well, yeah, but we've never done a code sh cast before as well. So for everyone, you are witnessing our first. Um. So yeah, no, I am excited. Uh, it it should be really good. Uh. Oh, wait. Can you pause it? One sec. Are you at one second? I think I've messed up. Hee <laughs> hee. Mm hmm. Hopefully, we can bring a good show in the end. Uh, now, while, while we'll pause, I'm just going to have a quick chat about the compositions you can see on your stream. Um, so, from both sides, we are seeing the Reinhardt. We're seeing the Lucio, the May, the Baptiste, and the Bastion. You know, complete mirror matchup from both sides. It's what we're expecting, isn't it? You've got this kind of rush map. You're expecting kind of the Ramatra or the Reinhardt, maybe a Sigma. Um, but uh, one thing that is for sure is you're going to see the Baptiste. You're going to see the Lucio the May Bastion, that stuff. The only thing that will ever really change in these scenarios is that tank position. Yeah. No, I do agree. Um, I have fixed the issue. The issue uh, was that I messed up with audio and they couldn't hear you. Um, so that wasn't great, if I'm being completely honest. Can you hear me at all? Uh, just when I switched to game, um, ah, I hadn't copied my okay. audio settings over. So they heard all of our pre-ramble. Um, but yeah, like I say, we also, I'll be honest, guys, this is an early cast for us. We are used to casting at <laughs> late at the... the, the uh, Pushing the early hours. Uh, exactly. But uh, with, you know, the sun was still uh, uh, ablaze. Uh, what time are you on? I'm at one second exactly. I think you're, you're at 1.1. 1 .1, so close indeed. enough. We can yeah, just we count, call it the same. count us in and... Uh... Yeah, yeah. Now, three, two, one. They are. So the doors are open. We're going into this first point of Antarctic Peninsula. Like I said, there's some mirror compositions going on here. Yeah, no, it is. Uh, we're seeing, you know, really meta. These teams want to win. They, they're not here to, you know, mess around with some different comps. So it'll be really interesting to see who can who can play this the the fundamentals. And we're seeing a big walk on that immediately. Yeah, both walls have come out very quickly there. You know, GCS being able to kind of counter that very quick push from Exeter. All of a sudden, they're in a very advantageous position here. Lago left, though, caught out position, able to use the pin and completely taken the Bastion into the <laughs> back. What a lovely opening pick. Obviously, the GCS playing without their Reinhardt up here. Lemon's able to just completely shut down the D-Man John's Reinhardt there. And that will be the first fight going in the side of GCS Owls. Yeah, no, we saw really solid play there this this comp i was talking to you earlier db um i was saying sometimes it really feels a bit like goats you just there's a lot of sustain um, and there's a lot of an ability to survive and it's all about getting that one pick and uh, i mean lagleth got that one pick with the charge and then instantly you know the team fight gets swung so it'll be interesting coming into this next fight there's no big ults online yet but if they play these uh, neutral fights long enough i mean we can still be seeing some for sure 
Well, the windows come out from the Baptiste from the side of Exeter, and all of a sudden we've got a lot of odds coming online. Lemons, uh, sorry, Yesnin's dropping the Bastion ult, the Barrage into the back line, not able to find anything. The Blizzard ult has come out to completely shut down all of Exeter. That is two kills for Todd. That is another picked up by Mini Mythic. That is going to be a very quick fight win from the side of GCSLs. They, they almost lost it, you know. The window came out, the wall came out, but then they were able to stabilize Mini Mythical coming out with a massive Blizzard that just completely kept them in the fight. Yeah, no, for sure. I mean, that was that was an insane ult. Like I was saying, th th there's, there's not that many ults online, but all you need in this kind of meta is one. Uh, and it was a massive blizzard, and it really brought them down. They did use, however, two ults in that entire fight, but they had both support ults, so they're feeling pretty confident in their ability, I think, to take this next fight and negate any ults that Exeter might be coming up on. Yeah, a big window there coming up from Todd. Look, you see an Exeter having to completely hide with 70% on the point here. This is pushing into last fight territory for the side of GCS, but... Click has opened up with a barrage. It's completely covered all of GTSL's mini mythical going down very early. That's going to be hard to stabilize. The Reinhardt of Exeter is walking in, got a massive slam. I, as I said, that's right, I think got completely blocked. <laughs> but yeah, uh, Click able to take down Yastin, and that will be the fight ticked over to the side of Exeter. Lemon trying to keep the point alive as long as he can. Pushes it out to 93, I think that's going to be. 93%, yeah, but that uh, it inevitably has gone over. So. In the, uh, the the stage is the last fight here, like I said. Yeah, I mean, well, we're seeing a flip of the point, so all we need is uh, GCS uh, Owls to take one more fight, but at the same time, that ult situation is not looking very healthy. They have the beat, which is all right. They might be able to come up on the bashing ult sometime soon, but on the other side, we're seeing window available. We're seeing uh, slam available. Window coming out really early, a really good um, wall to uh, try and stop it, but I mean, that bashing damage is just going to rinse anything and Lagaleth gets caught down there. Now, even though Lagalest fell, the point did flip over there, so we're seeing it at 99%. Mm. Obviously, GCS not able to keep that fight alive. The window was very well played, and the follow-up from Say to drop the Blizzard and completely shut down that fight, yeah. that was very well played. But they had to commit the beat. They did. Uh, yeah, yeah that, that, that definitely means that, like, you know, Lemon sitting on his beat, uh, they're ready to, to come into this next fight and just fight it out. I mean, they're getting really close to the bashing ult, so the only thing that could possibly save Exeter is a big slam from Demand Johns. Yeah, I think I think we're probably going to see a very aggressive beat. There we have it, but the wall has Whoa. shut it down. Yes, they're not able to get the beat. Oh, D-Man Johns was on and dropped the slam on top of the Bastion's head. You know, got a lovely headshot with a, an ability that you don't think, I don't think you should be able to get it. But Mini Mythic wants to keep this fight alive. He's dropped the Blizzard. He's caught the Baptiste. All of a sudden, oh, GCS, my. with three people alive, have absolutely sweeped the side of Exeter. That is going to be point one taken. I don't think anyone's going to be able no, to touch. No, I don't think anyone is going to be able to. Well, that was not expected. I was, I was ready to start talking about, you know, the alts and how how well that how good that wall was from say to completely negate lemon's beat well not completely but i mean it it really Mostly, did play it yeah. out and then the shatter came out catching two and then then a massive blizzard just completely opened up that fight and it means gcs uh owls gcs owls sorry GCS owls? Yeah, yeah, you got it. i'm about to add an e to them <laughs> yeah. um no, uh, now you know they're entering. They're finishing the point. They've got they've got point one, and I mean I don't think we're gonna see any team comp changes. Uh, Antarctica is, uh, I think, one of the best maps for this these types of comps. So I, I'm expecting yeah. these teams to kind there's, of. There's not up. many maps at the moment you get that much worth off Reinhardt. Mm. This definitely is one of them, isn't it? I think so. so, like, expecting to see some similar stuff here. You know, the May walls being so important, the the Reinhardt positioning being you know a big deciding factor, and if you're gonna caught out on the mistakes but both teams walking up looking to play this high ground so it's going to be a battle of attrition almost <laughs> like you said that goat style but the big wall has come out from say completely split off the support line of uh gcs and they're able to stabilize so well you know both immortalities have come out from both teams lag are taking a lot of damage here so they're going to need to play slow play this hard cover and kind of you know wait try to get their resources back this game's so resource heavy in these these sort of comps mm. GCS able to stabilize on this high ground, but they don't have the point presence, and Exeter have highlighted that. Got the flip already, but a big wall. Let's lag with that. Go straight into the pin. Finds D-Man Johns. Without your Reinhardt, it's going to be hard to stabilize. Click, looking to find anything. He's got the transfiguration, and he takes down Lemon. The immortality there, so, you know, such a clutch immortality to keep him alive in that position. But Mini Mythicals in that back line, you know what this man can do on May. He's looking for Nightfall. He finds one. Can he find another? They're walking in. Lego going for the pin. He's put no one, apparently. 
the Inter Water who's the mate got caught but yes in with a double kill that is going to be you know 20% on the fight uh, on the point for extra but very well played from GCS yeah 100% I mean we're looking at so many it, I mean it doesn't even feel like that was just the first fight that felt like the first three fights all going on at once but yeah we're seeing almost all ults coming online um for GCS Owls and I mean Exeter's not far behind them I mean the biggest difference is that beat like we we're talking about but I mean Lemon only got one beat last fight in it you know a good wall um you know completely delayed it so we're seeing that again Click is gonna instantly start this fight with an ult and we're gonna see a lot of ults coming out immediately yeah, click drop the barrage and Mini Mythic followed it up with the Blizzard and it just allowed Legolas to use these pins like he's been doing ever so often and take D-Man John straight to the edge of the map. Beautifully played, he puts click into the wall with these pins. This man is on fire with these pins, but I just want to talk about Mini Mythical mm. there with that Blizzard. You know, he's heard the click, he's heard the barrage coming in and he's gone, hang on, we need to make this fight quick, we need to go. He's dropped the Blizzard and he's absolutely gone for it. Yes, they lost Lemon in the, uh, sorry, they lost Yeston in the middle of that, but they, the Blizzard was enough to just completely disposition all of Exeter. Yeah, no, 100% Mini Mythical is playing, I uh, put on an absolute clinic here and I mean, the, the, uh, Azler's ult is going <laughs> to come out. I'm sorry, bro. Uh, Yestin is going to fire back through uh, the Todd's ult. I mean, we're seeing uh, uh, the control of the points swatching, uh, uh, swapping. Uh, they're trying to uh, get a shot, but it, oh nothing's really yes. coming. So close. Uh, Lagoleth going on point, dropping the beat, the slam. Just got caught out by a big shield coming out from D-Man. But the Blizzards come out from, say, not able to freeze anything. Lagoleth using his pin, getting in there, trying to make that space for his team. He gets Yestin the ability to walk so far on that high ground. And he's completely destroyed Alza, taking down the Baptiste, you're not going to be able to stay alive, are you? And that will be fly point flipping back over to the side of GCS, again moving towards this last light territory very early. Yeah, I mean, both teams are playing the points so well, they're, they're realizing, I don't need to have control of this point now the entire time. I can give it for a little bit as long as I win the fight afterwards. And I mean, I think that's yeah. what we've been seeing GCS do so well there. They're not afraid to give an inch if they can take a mile afterwards. And, um, you know, we've been seeing real expertise in this part. And I mean, they're coming up on uh, Mimi Mythical's ult, and that's exactly what you're looking for. I know I know that's what they're coming. They want to have this come up, and they want to win the fight with that. Now, both teams playing a bit slow here. They're playing a bit of that poke style, even though we're, we're seeing brawl comms here. But yes, then look, that Bastion does so much damage on this high ground, especially when you have a shield. Somehow, the uh, <laughs> extra have blocked their own slam with a wall. Yes, and look look at this Bastion. He's absolutely destroying the back line mm. and the front line as he takes down the Reinhardt. That is, that is a 2-0 victory, I'm going to say. Yeah, 2-0 victory there for the first point. Yeah, I mean, unfortunately, we don't get a cool victory screen or anything because uh, of how thing works, but I mean, straight uh, our thing. Yeah, that's the end of map one. Um, Oh, we saw some dominance there, DV. Um, some real great play. I mean, Exeter in first point, they, they look really competitive. They look like they, they could take it. I mean, um, but then at the same time, it's just so hard when you're going against such such uh, coordination, I think, is the big thing in that fight. It's like we were saying about goats. That was, that was the thing about goats. It was all about coordination. And we were really seeing it in that, that, that map um, from the other team. Um, from the other team, I do apologize. I will say as well, <laughs> now we have a free second. I do want to apologize to all the <laughs> all the players whose names we're going to butcher. If you have an easy to read name, you have a chance that it will go well. Unfortunately, yeah. we have not. I've I have never seen most of these players before. Uh, I know that you've you know you've been involved with uh, GCS a little bit more than I have. Um, DB, yeah. so you might know a couple of the names, but I mean, um, w uh, we will try our best. And if you are watching this uh, post event, uh, we do just want to apologize uh, for any names missaid or misspoken in the moment. Yeah, no, that w that was a that was a big map, wasn't it? You know, I think even it, it was a very dominant showing from GCS, mm -hmm. but then in the same same you know same breath, I want to mention that Extra didn't just roll over. They played that very well. They were they were struggling against the Bastion of Yestin and the and the Reinhardt of Lagoleth, but they did very well with what they had in that position. I I, I gotta say, even though it was two 0 it wasn't that much of a, a roll. You no, know, one hundred percent. Yeah, no, I I agree completely. Um, we weren't seeing like a com. I don't know. I think it was really close. And in these really close matches, it's really easy to, you know, think ah. Oh, as as the player you can e very easily start to get a bit down on yourself think oh no what you know was it what did i do was it something i um i did wrong but i don't think it was anything any of these players did wrong i think that ultimately they played exceedingly well um and there w it was just 
coordination, I think, ultimately. You know, you talked about that shatter. It's it's an unlucky yeah. thing. You know, you don't you're not exactly talking about it, but it's when oops, it's when those um those uh I believe in you. You've got this. Yeah, it's okay, man. No, I it's, I'm changing graphics as well. Um That's okay. Uh, well, it, yeah, it's, it's those little those yeah. little things in it. You know, th those ultimates we kind of you were seeing open the door very much mm -hmm. for the day off the back of it. The blizzards from Mini Mythical, I've got to say that they were incredible. You know the amount mm. of fights. I'm thinking of that that first point, last fight. Yeah, the, the confidence you have to have in your team and your playstyle to drop the blizzard in a three v five situation mm -hmm. and absolutely storm that fight. Definitely, no, I. It was so well played. I agree completely. I think that it it you've got to, but at the same time, it's you know it's the team playing around and it's Lemon and the Todd playing safely, so they're living. Um, but it's also the the way that um, Yestin and um, the tank. <clears throat> Lago left. Lago left. Uh, uh, we're we're playing around each other. <laughs> Um, yeah. the, you know, the fact that they're playing off each other so well, and I mean, we saw that for, with Exeter in parts, you know, and the blocking of the beat and the instant, like, the shatter and the, the way they went on, it was so good, it was such a good start, but unfortunately, it's just, you know, it's, when you're going against super plays, it's really hard, um, and, you know, maybe they could have turned and focused, but you just don't expect, when you're up two in a fight, you just don't expect the team to even keep on trying you expect them to kind of you know just quickly die so they don't stagger themselves but instead yeah. we, we saw we saw them really fighting for it and i mean that's now, I think, that, the difference that, you know to you, goats you remind me of something as well in the first fight of that map we mm -hmm. saw uh lag on there getting a lovely pin onto clip he did, yeah. and and kind of you know he was that he, he caught out of position saved himself with 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 a very pivotal pin mm -hmm. and I think you know that that it could be so easy to try and rush in there when you haven't got the resources yeah. from the side of Exeter and, and just fall too short. But they didn't. They they saw the issue. You know, they dropped another player and they backed out, and it meant that they could push back in very quickly. I think there was only ten percent on the point by time they were walking back into that fight. But now, to my knowledge, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, we mm -hmm. should be set up ready to go into map two now. We are um, indeed. I have to say. I'm not liking the fact that I have to do that. Normally, when we cast, DB's over here. He's doing all the lobby work, and this is the bit where <laughs> I, he gets, like, his brain gets muddled, and I'm just sitting back, and I, I can speak well. But uh, this time, I, I am the one that's befuzzled because I have to set the game up. But I am I'm set at 30 seconds. Um, yeah, so set at 30 seconds. 30 so seconds we're, we're in map time, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So we're going into map two here. King's Row. Some people call it Scrim's Row. <laughs> uh, if, if you've played in a team environment, you know what I mean. You seem to play this at, at least once a week, if not more. Um, the, the comps we've seen already, I'm, uh, they both lend themselves very well, don't they? The, the mm. Reinhardt composition here with the Bat Lucio. Although I, I, I don't know what. I don't think you can see it on stream, so you will see it as soon as we go in. They can. The Sigma well, they should be able to. Yeah, the Sigma comp is very strong here. You can play a bit slower. And I think on the defense, you know, you can see the um, GCS, uh, AF, uh, I'm going to go. Because he, he did tell me that I have to pronounce his name with every letter. Uh, I'm very sorry. I am not going to be saying <laughs> AF for ML every fight. Uh, so we're going to go with AF. Um, you know, the Sigma, it, it, it's a slower play style. Mm. So more you poking out a bit, aren't you? You're not rushing in for that brawl style. Then on the flip side, you see in the extra have swapped over to the Symmetra. Now, whether or not that's just to walk out quick, I don't typically see teams doing that on King's Row, so mm -hmm. I don't expect that. Um, I'm expecting maybe a teleport onto the high ground. Potentially. You yeah. know, bit you know how much damage you can do on that Bastion. Yeah, so a bit of a we'll rotate around, perhaps? Yeah, maybe they have a merry-go-round. Nah. You know, we love, yeah. we love the uh, merry-go-round over here. Yeah. Um, now, as long as, you, as, long as you're I'm ready. I'm ready whenever you are ready to count me in. Yeah, again, on, uh, we'll be going on go. So that's three, two, one, go. So yeah, like I said, we're, we're heading into King's Row here. We, we've got a bit of difference, bit of di you know, yeah. very similar. Only only two characters that are different. But it's one player it's different as well, mind. Yeah, it's pivotal, isn't it? We, well, we're seeing yeah, we're yeah. seeing the sub from Lagoleth, the uh, AF, as you were saying, talking about earlier. That could be a big part of it. You know, again, a player who has a specialty in a certain character definitely lends into um, being able to play well. And yeah, I, it will be interesting to see what, if Say does stick on this um, hero or switches to a more meta, you know, May. Because it will be hard, to, I think, to play without the May. The May walls have been so pivotal in map one. Um, it'll be interesting to see what happens. 
Now we're seeing the Essence Bastion set up on the high ground and being rushed on. I see the TP came out, but Mythical what a Mini, shot. sorry, Mini Mythical dropping a headshot onto Say. That was beautiful. You, it almost seemed like Yeston was going to get completely caught out with that teleport, mm. but they were able to stabilize perfectly the entire peel there. Yeston's able to find multiple picks here. D Man John trying to find something on the exit, looking for a pin, not able to find anything. AF not even having to rotate, he stayed on point mm. for that entire fight. Yeah. That was beautifully played from GS. I thought from a second there yeah, that, it's done. you know, Yeston was gone. Yeah, no, 100%. I mean, a brilliant shot opening it up. It's just when you, you need to hit those mechanical shots, that was the only reason they could outplay that. I mean, we're going to be seeing save run back, and I'm thinking they're going to look for the same teleport, but I mean, uh, GS. Uh, GCS are going to know it's happening. A big wall coming up, but D-Man already picking up too. I mean, this is looking like a done fight. Yeah, they say lightning doesn't strike twice, and I think that's exactly what we've just seen. You know, they weren't able to land the same headshots, play the same mm. kind of... Uh, we saw almost perfect gameplay, didn't we, on that first defense there? But now, a window's come out from LZ. Extra are not ready to let this fight go. They're not letting GCS out. They, they've got a very aggressive hold here. They don't want to let that... Defender, ah, there you are, a fire strike through the window, absolutely taking down Todd, but yeah. See, they don't want to let the defense get to the choke, do they? They don't no. want that archery choke. And that's what we're seeing, a very aggressive push here. They've got the Baptiste with them, so they can keep walking and know they can stabilize completely. They've left the, the Lucio on point. Look how far they've walked mm. up here. Pushing GCS into the third point. Yeah, 100%. I mean, they're playing it really well. They know they have the run. They have to be on top of uh, GCS. They know that they can't just give them as much space as they as GCS want because with the Sigma that, that that'll just end badly for them. So they're, they're playing really aggressive and it's working out for them. But I mean they're getting pushed on the alt side here. But we're gonna be seeing an ult coming out from click immediately. A big oh. slam almost able to find everything but Todd so quick on that immortality beautifully beautifully placed keeping his team alive only for a few seconds as yeah extra able to just walk on the amount of damage they've done find the find the Aston very quickly and mm. it allows them to breathe a little they know that barrage of damage isn't going to be dropped on top of them from the bastion and that you know yeah you've got the reinhardt just walking in slowly swinging left right and center yeah nightfall is uh having a drink i think uh talking to his friends because uh he just got to sit on the cart and th their team won a free fight it, it, you've got to remember that they're, they're fine 4v5 when they have the push cart this far but i mean we're l looking at gcs they have all their ults online now they they want to hold here they're going to be pushing in really aggressive and the lift is going to start this all off yeah af finds both dps the immortality able to keep both of them alive but a lot of damage is done from that say out of position as well caught by todd the dps with his baptiste is beautiful they're walking in mini mythical able to drop a wall find demand john that is going to be a beautiful play from gcs just able to get themselves back into that fight so quickly with only one or uh, two ult used i think mm. yeah the bastion ult came out as well you know the Im the immortality from alza beautifully placed but even yeah. though it keeps you alive, it doesn't it doesn't yeah. stop damage, does it? No. I, I mean, the other thing is, you know, it was really well played from GCS there. Not to just click, uh, you know, Q or Y a hundred times because it's so easy to do. But, I mean, we're seeing a quick fight. They're rushing on. Immortality Field has already been per burned by Alza. But, I mean, they're in great position here. Um, Exeter are looking to win this fight definitively. All of a sudden, we've got Overwatch 1 style <laughs> ultimates coming out. Mini Mythic drops the Blizzard. Completely finds D Man John out of position on his own. Able to take him down quickly. Say walled off as well in the back line. Mini Mythic wants more. He wants the blood. He's not able to find it as Click walks around the corner and keeps his team in this fight. Yeston, though, in the back line with a window. He's finding everything. AF walking in. He gets the 2K. That is, you know, again, we just keep saying it. Beautifully played from GCS. Mm. They almost lost the fight. There are a lot of ultimates being used from the side of Exeter. We saw the Symmetra uh, wall and we saw the window come out from BAP. Almost seemed lost, but yet Yestin and Todd set up in the back line with mm. that wind and just absolutely rained fire mm. upon Exeter. Yeah, they did. And I mean, we're now seeing Say switch over to the May. They've realized that maybe they just need them the walls for that extra pick potential but i mean it's gonna be hard they're going into beat they're going into um sigma ult but i mean they're playing super aggressively it's a big shatter and clique finds three that's exactly what you want if you're exeter a really clean fight they really know how to push their pacing so well and i mean oh say so picking up a little straggler a little, little morsel on the end of that yeah, look, you know, if you invest in two ults, that's what you want, isn't it? You want to one, you want to take point, and two, you want to win the fight quickly. That was that was beautiful. But 
say with a very early alt wall there. I think, I think he's trying to wall them up. Yeah, and his, his, uh, ah, okay. I think he's trying to wall them up and they just missed. Yeah. That makes sense, but all of a sudden we're seeing the alts come online here. AF finds both Reinhardt and May in that with the Bastion ult being dropped on top. The crucial Lucio coming out from Nightfall to keep his entire team in this fight. And as this can't walking around the corner, we're seeing a lot of stuff going on. My Overwatch is closed. Okay, that's not great. I will pause. Uh, no, no, no. Where am I? Still in Never it. mind. Okay. Uh, yeah. It's a massive fight. He has been able to walk around the corner, finds the man John. The window's not able to do anything there. It's been mm. put so aggressively that, you know, as soon as GCS walked in and times it, they were able to shut it off. But Lemon goes very deep and is caught by Say. That's going to be hard to restabilize, isn't it? Yeah, Say is playing really well. Switched onto the main is already just hitting shot after shot is exactly what you want from the mate but i mean mini is going to drop the ult but i mean they're playing so aggressively they just walk straight past it it's not really going to do anything and lemon has to drop the beat yeah you know that the thing with the reinhardt is you can walk in like that but yes then look at this bastion go that is two <laughs> kills on the board already todd able to find a lovely headshot that's afml yeah there you have it that, that's the fight going in the side of gcs what a pivotal ultimate coming out from lemon mini mythical drops the blizzard they're hoping mm. to win off that because of the reinhardt comp you can just walk past it but yeah. The beat comes out from Lemon, absolutely restabilizes the fight. Almost caught out there as I'm speaking, <laughs> jumps out into the open. But a very early window, all of some went to the next fight already. So I'm not giving you a chance to speak. <laughs> yeah, the, the windows come out from Todd and Exeter just having to hide around the corner with a minute 40 on, on the you know, on the clock, that's going to be dangerous there. Click wants to open this fight up, though. He's dropped the barrage. He's going in. AF thinks it's his own team, I'm guessing. Uh, he's able to find three. The Reinhardt can put out wow. position and that allows the DPS and GCS to walk in and absolutely destroy. Yeah, I was going to say watch out for D-Man because he was obviously running in to do the same play they'd done last time, hit a shatter, and then Click was going to fire the shots. But I mean, AF maybe, you know, he's read this book before um, and he decides I'm going to lift them and it completely changes the pace of the fight. But I mean, D-Man still has that ultimate. Uh, they're coming up on beat as well. So I think we should keep our eyes on D-Man because I think he's, he's something big's going to happen here. Click looking to make something happen. Not able to find a kill. The uh, maze able to use it. But D-Man walks out. He finds two. The immortality is there to keep GCS alive. But will it be enough? The answer is no. Nightfall able to find AF. And without your tank, it's going to be hard to stabilize. The Reinhardt's going in with a pin. He finds Yestin. Without your Bastion, there is little to no damage coming out from the side of GCS. D-Man is on fire, dropping these fire strikes. Click a beautiful nade into the back line. Able to find Todd. 40 seconds on the clock here. So, you know, we're definitely... Uh, they, they're not going to be able to get the instant win off the next uh, point, but they're playing so aggressively. They're on this left door. They're walling off. Will anyone be able to touch? I don't know. Mini Mythic has dropped the blizzard. We've seen both blizzards on point. 0.5 meters on the car. There's not much in it, but AF able to find say Nightfall taking down AF though. Without your tank, how are you going to stabilize on this point? You know, you can't really stand there and take the damage. Oh Lemon's my. taken down and Mini Mythic able to find D-Man after getting pinned somehow. What a beautiful play. Yes, in looking for anything. Todd with his window finds Nightfall's forehead. A, uh, as I was trying to do anything, 0 0.06 meters on the <sighs> point in my GCS with a beautiful defense. I mean, that was intense. I mean, great aggressiveness from Exeter. They really pushed. They go all the way to spawn and they say, we can take this fight. And they were so close to doing so. It was a great touch coming out from AF. Um, and then they just managed to just keep pounding them. But it just it wasn't enough. I mean, like you say, Yestin and Todd, the dynamic duo of this game so far, I think. You know, the Baptiste and the, uh, the uh, Bastion really doing everything there doing so much with the damage i mean we can't forget mini getting a little pick off uh, around the mini didn't uh <laughs> but uh no it was really the bastion and um the baptiste that were able to really just stay they luckily their team stabilized for them they managed to come in they managed to hit a couple of shots use their ults well and then all of a sudden we see the fight ending it's interesting we're seeing say on the defensive symmetra it'll be interesting to see if they stay on this because such like we say such a pivotal part of the um the the the, the meta i'd say is the the may i think the walls are probably the one of the biggest parts but the other thing we have to talk about is the support lineup here because we're seeing it we're seeing a uh Ilari. yeah there's a bit of a difference isn't it you're expecting the lucio but i suppose if you're not playing around the may you're not going to be aggressive off the back of mm. the walls are you so you can almost play that slower comp but as I'm saying that, they've set up completely on the high ground here, so they're gonna they're looking to just rain damage upon the the heads of GCS. GCS going for the the standard, they're going for the Sigma comp. You know, they haven't got the the Symmetras. They're gonna be playing on the low ground, and you can kind of almost choose to do that against this comp, haven't you? You know, if they're playing mm -hmm. the high ground, just walk underneath them. 
Yeah, no, I mean, they're going to be wrapping around with the Lucio speed. But, I mean, I don't think they know quite yet what they're going to be facing. I don't think they know it'll be literally everybody in a bit of a toaster across there as well. They're going to jump across with speed, but if they walk in, they're just going to get toasted. I th they're trying to bait here. They get a big wall, but I don't think there's anything they can really do. I mean, the thing is, they're the ones that need to take points, so there's a bit of pressure on them. And, um, yeah, we're going to see them drop now. Yeah, they've dropped, but they've left Yesting on the high ground, so he's going to just do so much damage here. Forced out by AF, able to drop those orbs on top of Elsa's head. That is beautiful. The wall has completely shut down Extra's ability to walk in there. A lot of abilities having to use to keep Extra alive there. The immortality's gone out and it's been destroyed instantly. The pylon no longer able to do anything as they're playing around this bottom corner. AF has walked in. Look at the damage he's doing. Mini Mythic able to find so much there as well. Just absolutely taking down Click so quickly. And as soon as you've lost that Bastion, you lose the damage sustainability, don't you? Uh, and yeah, that. I don't know. Is that someone slept? I think. Oh, no mind, honors no. in the game, so uh, probably not. Um, yeah, there's a pylon <laughs> falling from the sky. Yeah. Um, I mean, the other thing is, uh, Alzur. Um, it's an interesting pick uh, on the Alari. It j you don't have as much um, healing in burst, which is, I think, a lot of what this meta requires. Um, you have a lot more damage and you have a lot of overtime healing, but, I mean, the quick burst is what, you know, uh, the Baptiste and the Lucio are really great at. So, I mean, a big ult coming out immediately from Mythical and a massive wall as well to follow up. And, I mean, I think that's going to be a fight over already. I mean, I'm still in the middle of my analysis and <laughs> a fight's already gone over. That, uh, uh, not only that, that fight almost went the complete opposite way. Mm. Yestin went down very early, and it almost seemed dangerous for the side of GCS, but Mini Mythical in the perfect position to drop the blizzard, drop the wall, and just absolutely destroy the side of Exeter in what seemed like the blink of an eye. Yeah. Yestin's changed over to the bat, the, the Sojourn here, so more of that long-range damage, more of that kind of specific damage, should we say. You're not just pointing and clicking. You're not just hoping for the best. You, mm. you, you've got to aim you know, your aim's got to be on point for this character. Yeah, I mean, they're coming up on ults as well, so we're going to see Click opening the fight with the Sigma ult. I mean, they're looking for something bigger. Yeah, Lemon with a pivotal Lucio ult. A lot of ults coming out from the side of GCS. The window and the lift coming out very quickly. They're going to be able to do a lot of damage, but the immortality is absolutely kept um, extra in the fight here, and Elza going over the top. He wants to get a big ult there. Not able to find many, you know, able to drop it on the Aston, but I don't think it'll be enough. You, don't, you want more than that, but the damage is there, and I think GCS have, have taken, you know, they're walking away with their heads between their legs. They, they just need to get out of this fight alive. They don't want to give up too much time. They're walking back. They're nearly losing AF. This is going to be dangerous if they do that. Stagger. Yeah, brilliant immortality to feel to keep him alive. I mean, the danger there is you getting staggered. We're seeing Yestin switch off the Bastion. Um, deciding the Sojourn is a is a better pick for the situation. I mean, you can't say it's wrong. The amount of damage that's going to come out, and you know, the fact they're not playing uh, the enemy team is playing such a spammy team comp now. Uh, I know that you mentioned this, but uh, we are. It's interesting. I don't know what else we should really look out for. As I say that, yes. Uh, not yes, and D-Man is going to pop one. Mini is also going to pop one on the other side. And it's a massive freeze. The Immortality Field gets walled off and then destroyed. And I mean, he's, it's going to be a close one, though. The, uh, the damage yeah, is just not really there. Yeah. D-Man Jom has just used his ult to go into the sky, drop into the back line, and just absolutely pepper the back line. But all of a sudden, Todd's on his own. He wants to make something happen here. He's tri he's dropping it. He's hitting those headshots, and he needs those kills. He's able to find Lemon, sorry. is able to find, say, Ilari is on the point alone here. Lemon with wow. some beautiful wall riding just absolutely flew back from spawn to keep Todd in this fight. And the support line have become the DPS line and taken that fight for themselves. Nearly finding, nearly finding Nightfall on the exit of that fight. And they've taken the point on their own. I know. They don't need that's that's that is two supports against the wall. What a beautiful sight. Yeah, I mean, it was like I said, there was such a big ult um, from uh, m uh, Mini uh, Mythical. But, I mean, at the end, they just didn't have the damage to really take down Cleek. And so he managed to live a long time, get a lot of that damage off. Um, but ultimately, it was just the supports. Mini finding a massive pick already, though. Yeah, every time you say this guy's name, he just does more. Walking in, able to find the headshot onto Elza. Yes, then able to find Click as well. Without the, the, the Alari and the Bastion, you have, you know, you're have you losing a lot of your damage there. That, that's what you're playing the Alari for, isn't it? You want that extra damage. But a lot of ultimates on the side for both teams. You know, mm. both got coming up on five. This this fight is a pivotal fight. If GCS are able to win this fight, that is going to be, you know... The game. The game, that's it. That... that the, you, you know, 0 0.06 meters, I think it was. So mm. we're not going for an extra round. But the ultimate come out from click very early. Uh, uh, same with Alza. You know, they want to keep this fight alive. But Lemon dropping a beat keeps his entire team alive. AF going into the sky. Finally, Yestin finding oh. two kills in the blink of an eye. GCS, have, they, they know it's the last fight territory and they've dropped everything. That's going to be the old mini 
blizzarding what seems like nothing, uh, you know, because GCS took that fire. It really annoys me that we don't know, get to see it. It just ends. Uh, uh, like, just a black. It doesn't even feel like it's over and then bam, it's gone. No, yeah, look, that last fight, I I feel like every fight in this game makes us feel like idiots. They're, they're, trying, to, they're trying to play us for fools, DB, because it's so close. And every fight, even when odds are popped, could go either way. And that's what we're seeing in these games. I mean, that last fight, I, initially I thought, oh, Exeter, really strong start, really um, good position. And then, boom, out of nowhere, like you said, three picks coming up from Yestin. Uh, that's exactly yeah. what is needed. And, I mean, it's not even that, like, um, Exeter is massively misplaying any of these fights. They just it just, they just, they turn around and uh, <laughs> it's a hoover. You know, there's... there's, uh, there's that, oh, that, it, it's so well played from GCS. In, in a lot of these fights, like I said, it, it, if feels like it could go either way all of a sudden you get an extra getting picks left right and center but then boom gcs you know it whether or not it's perfect blizzard it's todd's uh baptiste finding some you know pivotal damage lemon dropping an incredible uh beat mm. whatever it is they're able to stabilize in what seems like lost fight territories yeah 100 percent. i mean in that first fight it, i was so sure that the um the symmetra trap in that room was going to work i thought that um GCS Owls were just going to walk straight in and they were just going to get fried and the fight was over. None of that happened at all. What we saw is them, you know, dropping onto the point, playing really slowly. Um, and that was what won them the fight. And it's it's just like, I feel like as a as an observer, as well, I must say, it is, um, it is so hard because these picks are just happening almost instantaneously. It is so quick. Um, and then almost immediately, um, we're seeing like teams flip and uh, fights just go completely opposite ways. Um, so yeah, uh, I think the next map is Servasa, if I'm not wrong. Yeah, uh, we're going over to that flashpoint. So it's a it's a you know a new style of map on, for this Overwatch two landscape, uh, and it flows very well. We were talking about this recently again. Mm. You know, it, it, a lot of people complained about it when it initially came out, but it's almost like uh, King of the Hill, mm -hmm. except you've got to be that little bit more strategic and think, right, do we bother pushing in here? Should we leave them to win this map? Th uh, this <laughs> Sorry. And, and, and rotate straight over to the next point. That uh, So you can be that bit more strategic. Mm. And we're seeing Lagoleth come back in here. So mm. you know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking they're going to go back to the Reinhardt comp. Yeah, no, I, I'm thinking the same. I think they built uh, brought AF out um, for the... the uh, <coughs> the what's sigma? it called sigma yeah that's what uh, right um they that's uh, that's also a sign of a great team having different players with different roles saying you know being able to be um you know smart enough to say i know that i'm not going to be able to do everything that is needed on every tank because there's only one tank now in overwatch uh two you've got to cover all of them but in this kind of scenario you're able to go no i know that i'm not the best at sigma i want to put more time into the reinhardt um so then you can say, if someone else is better than me, we can keep these teams dynamic. But you also want to have a bit of depth on the characters because, you know, in the middle of the game, that's that's when if you need to switch it up, you need to switch it up. But I can see um, Ryan, you know, this brawling style r works really well on Flashpoint. So, um, yeah, I mean, I'm all set up. So uh, whenever you want to kick this in, DB, I'm ready to start. Yeah. So going over to this, this Flashpoint, what could be the last map it in this be. series? It could be, you know, we're 2-0 up. Uh, GCS are yet to lose a map this entire tournament. <sighs> I mean, Exeter so, have taken it close, though, I must say. Yeah, yeah, they, they pushed them, haven't they? They have. Now, I'm, I'm ready, as long as you're ready. Yeah, yeah. We're here with a countdown. Three, two, one, go. So 20 seconds left. Let's have a quick talk about these compositions. Mm -hmm. Like I said, Lagoleth is in. You're expecting to see the Reinhardt. But then on the uh, opposite side, I would have expected D-Man to go over to his almost what Sigma. seems like a comfort yeah, yeah. for him. Go over to the Reinhardt. But he's staying on the Sigma. Say he's going to that May. So I think, you know, they've accepted the the ability, the, you know, the, the, the power. power. Yeah, May. yeah. Yeah. L losing my words. I know. But going over to the, the central point, let's see how this plays out yeah 100 percent. i mean we're gonna see lagoleth trying to rush straight on top of them you don't want to give sigma the range to uh to start poking you so they're gonna try and you know play this corner play the areas and just try and rush on as soon as they can with lemon speed um and i mean we're just gonna be waiting in the neutral fight for a bit until we see an opportunity or lagoleth pulls the trigger 
Yeah, they're in a very strong position, aren't they? Because even if nothing happens, they get the point mm. here. But as soon as I say that, a massive wolf of minis completely split off D-Man. The immortality is there to keep him alive, but with a pin coming in, the immortality's gone. There's nothing to keep you alive, man. Mm. There you have it. Yes, and able to find two kills very quickly. Can he make it three? No, yes, and uh, Todd going in, taking what he wants, taking a double kill all of a sudden. Mm. Uh, yeah, that was very well played, you know. They waited, they let D-Man pull the trigger first, and Mini was waiting with that wall. 100%. Beautifully, completely split. Like I said, the immortality was there, but the damage had been done. Yeah, 100%. And I mean, the thing about this is you see the percentage, you think, oh, it's going to, you know, it's the same as the uh, other game mode, like Koth, but it, it, it's not. You know, you, you only have a couple of fights, so you're really going to be trying to play quickly. I'm surprised D-Man hasn't swapped onto the Reinhardt, but I mean, a massive wall coming out immediately, and another pin is going to be thrown. Not going to find anything this time, but immortality field is going to be blown. I mean, it's, it's a, it's a close-looking fight here. Yeah, but Click completely split from a team. You've got to think, you know, can you do the damage you need with the Bastion? And apparently they can. D-Man able to find Mini. We know how pivotal Mini has been in these mm. fights. That is a big, very big pick with some ults coming online as well. I'm expecting to see a window. The window comes out from Todd. Also comes out from Alza. So you've got a window a uh, window apiece here. Both teams just brawling out on point. They, they, the Lemon lemon has dropped his uh, beats. Oh, I'm losing my words here. The ultimates are coming out left line and center. Uh, and yeah, Extra do not want to let this fight go. They're able to find yes and Anne Lago there. With that mm. advantage they had from the start of taking down um, Mini, they just absolutely worked off that. The overtime has been achieved, so we're 99% on GCS. All it's going to take is one fight, but sometimes that's all you get time for with how quick the percentage goes up. 100%. I mean, getting it to overtime is is really good, but they did commit both support ultimates. They do have every other ult uh, for GCS owls, but um, I mean, it's going to be hard because, you know, Exeter have also got, they've got the beat, they've got the the blizzard so they're going to be looking to take a definitive fight as well because like you said one fight is really all you need as long as the fight doesn't end instantly and you get a couple of staggers but i mean yeston's going to start with a big ult yeah he's looking for the baptiste and he oh. finds it mini dropping a blizzard as well he seems to find everything lemons on his own in the fight can he find something he's looking for nightfall he's trying to find the headshots he's not able to get them quick enough and uh yeah mini mythicals walked in and absolutely you know he's done the damage with the blizzard they're just cleaning up here yeah 100 percent. i mean <coughs> it was really great play yes finds the immediate pick and that's kind of the goats part about this you find a pick and you've kind of won the fight um i say that but that is sometimes not true especially with the teams like this um but i mean we've got the speed so they're gonna be speeding away uh <laughs> let's standing still for a bit just maybe to give the other team an extra a chance but no there the lucio speed is really massive on this map uh, i think it's part of what secures him and they these kind of comps is uh just the fact that you get to the point so much quicker and i mean point doesn't unlock for 20 seconds but they have a really good position to take this first fight here as you mentioned, D-Man has gone on to the Reinhardt, mm. so we're going to see you know, a complete mirror matchup here. Both teams want to make something happen. A very deep wall from Say, not able to find anything really, but they've got set up, GCS has set up on point. D-Man's having to play this aggression, having to play, try and get around the corner, and as soon as he peeks, he's taking so much damage. GCS, are, are, they're going to take the point first, right? The windows come out from Alza, but GCS have just kited, walked around the corner. The May has come out from Say and completely shut down the abilities for Lagler to rotate. He's got caught with a pin, Alza taken down with a headshot. Very well played from Exeter. They knew they couldn't walk in there because they would just get chunked down completely. But then they put that May wall, shut down the stairs rotation, mm. and then run so quickly on top of Lagalette. Yeah, Nightfall with a brilliant speed, just pushing his team right into where they needed to be, allowing them to really just push the aggressiveness and a brilliant window as well. Just really opening up the fight, meaning they can easily take the point. And I mean, they're looking healthy on alts as well. They have uh, Demands is coming up on his, and Cleek has uh, theirs as well. So, you know, they can definitely combo those together and, you know, probably even win the point if they. Uh, take enough time just to do it and we can see click is backing off looking for this ult and um, we should watch uh, mini has dropped the mail oh. he's dropped the wall he's found say he's found d-man johns the immortality is there and keep him alive but it's not enough hang on d-man though he's gone on this reinhardt rampage finds lagoleth and mini he wants to keep this fire alive he's mm. he said i don't care about the blizzard i'm i'm my team in this but todd's looking for something can he find the head he's oh, not able to find it level on his own uh yeah nightfall just went straight up to that high ground and able to take down todd massive stagger as well man tall. Yeah, Neely saw some stuff going on there, but no, uh, Exeter able to just stabilize and keep the fight, you know, shut down a bit. 89%, 90%, I think, yeah. Um, I think they're not GCS have accepted, have accepted the fight loss, they've accepted the point loss, and they're rotating ready for the next one. 100%, I mean, every, behind every great player, you always have the support, so as me and DB know true and well as support players, but no, uh, uh, Alzir and uh, Nightfall, they just managed to, like, keep D-Man uh, alive uh, long enough that, you know, uh, they got the fight with.
uh, and that was all they really needed to do. They man they had to use some ults to get it. So uh, Lagoleth is sitting on theirs, and Lemon is still sitting on um, Beat. But it was just the keeping alive. I don't think they expected it. I think uh, that once they saw how big the Blizzard was from Mini, uh, they they expected the fight kind of just to be over. But I mean, it's far from over when these two teams are uh, fighting DB. Yeah, now both, uh, you know, um, GCS able to set up on point here, so they've already got the, uh, oh, uh, they uh, already got the uh, point, the percentage ticking up, but a very strong position from Exeter, they're on this high ground, so they can kind of, you know, cover the tempo, it's on their, their game, they've dropped the B and the, uh, the window there, so both tank holds coming out there, Lagos like tries to find a, uh, a map, charge, <laughs> I'm expecting there, but, you know, able, falling in the back line, Mini taking down safe, that, that is, I think the fight's going to go in the way, yeah, there we have it, it's, it's a bit of a clean up there. The fight's going to go in the way of um, Exeter. Todd able to get a lovely pick on the exit though, finds Elzer. Yeah. No, I mean... 40% on the point though, that is well played. I know, yeah, luckily they were holding the point the entire time. So, you know, that was definitely a, a, a good fight to lose, or at least a good way to lose the fight. Because they're coming back, they have a couple of ultimates. Uh, if they play it well, they get a good blizzard, they get a good shatter, and they get... Um, some good sh hits with the uh, the Bastion ulti. They'll be able to do something, but on the other side, we're seeing four ults up for Exeter. They're going to be able just to beat. They're going to be able to do the exact same combo on the return as well. So, you know, definitely looking at Exeter here. They're definitely... But, I mean, yes, and cla catches click out of position a little bit, and the Blizzard is going to come out immediately um, from Exeter. Yeah, both Blizzard drops on point there, but nothing has really come from either. Very well played from Yesen to open that fight up, but Say finds Mini, and we know what this man can do. That is a big pick. There we have it, you know, uh, GCS able to stabilize on point, but Exeter just walked around this corner, waiting a second, getting their team healed up, and I'm expecting to come back in. I'm expecting a, a Reinhardt ult very early. The walls come out to try and shut down oh Lago, but Lago, not only is he found the entire team, he shut down D-Man John's ultimate there. Beautifully played. It gets chunked down, but I think he's done enough for his team. Um, click, keeping his team alive here though, you know, using the Bastion mm. to just rain that damage down. Stay able to find so many headshots. GGS being taken off the point, it seems Mini Mythical able to find Click staying on point with his uh, Cryo. Double wall coming out, he's stuck in this little bit of a corner there. 93% on the point, you got to think. GGS is probably sweating here. Todd going on point on his own, he's going to fall. Yeah. They are apes, and you know, this is very last fight territory here. Yeah, I think they're probably thinking maybe they should go to a different point. I mean, their supports have only just spawned here. They're just going to decide to waltz out of this one. Um, and, I mean, Exeter have realized that, and they're already rotating as well. So, we're going to be... This is a big part of why we think the Flashpoint's so good, I think, DB, is you just... You have to, like realize when like how fights bleed into each other um, and I mean this point is very big and open so we're going to be see, seeing a lot of uh, from the Bastions I think the main walls are going to you know be a little bit less impactful but I mean Bastion is always impactful the amount of damage and I uh, actually don't quite know where they are but now they have seen it they're coming up with a big wall and a big uh, window to start yeah D-Man able to find a lovely fire strike straight into the back line and takes down Todd. With Todd down, you don't have the sustain of having the Bastion. And Say finding three <laughs> on the exit of the fight. Very well played. You know, they set up on that high ground early, and I think they just had that advantage. They were set, weren't they? Even though GCS got there in time for the fight to start, they were still in a rotation almost. So they weren't really, you know, they weren't prepping for the fight, whereas uh, Exeter was just kind of waiting for it. Yeah, no, 100%. I mean, it's like I said, the Bastion can just do so much damage, and that's what we saw. But it was a great opening um, from Nightmall and night fallen demands but we're going to see a fight in the exact same place but i mean uh, this time well the blizzard is going to be the entry thing but it was a great wall but i mean it's still gonna catch two and i mean that's all they need is that's that's gonna be the end of the fight to be honest and i mean they're looking at it with a really healthy percentage now um extra have the, uh, the point. yeah she's just gonna have to do a lot to keep their no maps lost streak <laughs> up aren't they you know they're, they're, i think Losing your Reinhardt and May straight at the start of the fight, there's not really much you can do. And GCS played well and backing that out, but that was so well played from Exeter, wasn't it? Yeah. Now, we've got quite a few ults coming online from GCS, only two on the side of Exeter. So I think, you know, we're going to see a lot of uh, tactical play. You've got to try and think, you don't want to use them all here, but you kind of have to in some situations, don't need to keep this point alive. Now, walking in, Mini's gone very deep. He's trying to find the Blizzard. He's dropped it. He's found D Man. D Man's gone into the wall. Lagoleth has dropped. A beautiful pin straight in, taking down D-Man, and yeah, a lot of damage being taken on the side of GCS, but they just need to keep this point alive. Click going in with the Bastion Barrage, trying to find something, not able to get anything. Say walking into the back line, but the DPS line, I, I you know, I, I said DPS line, it's the support, but I'm keeping with the DPS line uh, of GCS. They just absolutely destroyed there, kept themselves alive. They're on their own, though. They're going to have to make something happen here to keep this fight alive. 
all of a sudden it's looking like uh, Exeter are going to take it. Yeah, I know. I mean, that is big. They're going to break the uh, winning streak. I mean, it's a big still coming out from... The Todd's going to get a pick. I mean, Mini's still alive. It might be winnable. Yesin's going to go for the ult, but as overtime ticks down, it's going to be a, have a touch from the Todd, but he's going to drop for it. Yesin is going to pick someone up. Lemon is going to get another pick as well. This fight's definitely still alive and well. I mean, a lot of damage is coming out, and we're uh, seeing, our, you know, the people drop real low. The ult comes out. Blizzard comes out, but I mean, that's crazy. Are they... They're still on? And what, what Demons is so low. No what have we way. seen there? Hang on, GCSL was no Todd on his own has kept that point <laughs> alive long enough to keep Lagoleth, you know, uh, to let Lagoleth get it on the Reinhardt. All of a sudden you've got Reinhardt and a Baptiste on point. Lemon comes flying through the sky, just absolutely, you know, speed boosting Lagoleth around point. That was incredible. Uh -huh. That was absolutely incredible. 100%. We were, we were talking about the end, the ending of the streak and all that, but I mean, this game is alive and well, DB. That was a, that was on us. The Caster Curse, I think, is coming up, but I mean, D-Man's coming up on the ult now. I mean, that, that's the other thing. Exeter used a lot of vaults. They thought the game was over, but no, it's not. I mean, both teams are going to have this dry fight for a little bit. I mean, the charge comes out from Lagoleth isn't going to find anyone, but the damage is done and the space is created. Yeah, the May Wars are so important there, and the amount of damage that's being done is extra just stuck in this corner. Not a massive ult from D-Man, but the immortality and the beat from Lemon and Todd has absolutely kept his team alive. Yes, him through the window has done so much with that mm. grenade. That is going to be 2-2 two, two on this flash point. I don't believe that. GCS have kept that point alive. I know. Now it's all to play for. We're going into, you know, the fifth point on the map. I feel like every every time I play Flashpoint, it always goes to fifth point. Maybe that's just how well designed the game mode is. But I mean, that was just super play after super play from GCS. Exeter had played it so perfectly, so clinically. And I mean, we didn't expect it, so why would they, you know? Um, they're going to be able to get to point first, so maybe they'll have an advantage because um, they can get the Bastion, you know, nice and cozy. They can get him set up in a good position to start spamming the damage, but I mean... Yesin is coming up on the ult again. Um, Nightfall is coming up on the beat to return with it, but uh, I mean, we're going to see a window coming out, I'm sure, from Alzir in a second. Yeah, the window's come out, and the May will nearly call Lagoleth to be on his own. There you are. Yeah, the damage is done. You know, Lagoleth able to get around the wall, but it's mm. not enough to keep him alive. And uh, Extra is just going to try and run off this advantage. They speed around that corner, but a very well placed wall from Mini has kept his team alive long enough to just escape, wait for Lagoleth, and go back in. Yeah, no, that. That was a really good pick. It was like, a, I have to say, I did call it, but I mean, we're going to see a knock coming up from Yestin. Click is building up to theirs, but Yestin's going to chuck every down. Managed to pick up Click. That means they're not going to have an ult. B is still available for Nightfall, yeah. but I mean, I don't think they're going to commit it at this point. Yeah, Seiko out right at the back of the point there. And yeah, GGS have done perfectly. They mm. dropped that Bastion out and found the, op the opposition Bastion. The Bastion's almost the win condition in this team, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. And, and I mean, it takes a lot of skill to be able, from both Cle Click slash cleek <laughs> and yes then <laughs> both of them to get raw kills with bastion i think is a talent because especially when you're playing in such a coordinated environment it's very easy for teams to just completely negate that ult but being able to get picks off it is really uh, what everyone here is playing for both the ult and the neutral game and we're going to see click coming up on their ult soon so maybe they'll be able to return the favor and uh, take this point back but we're going to be seeing a big mail to start the fight yeah, and Minis dropped that Blizzard, and they want to go so aggressive. They broke the wall so quickly. D-Man, though, alive in the back line. Can he make something happen? The Immortality has completely kept GCS alive there. Lemon with a beautiful boop, sending Say to the water. Ah, Lemon's all of a sudden got a three kill. What a beautiful Lucio play. No, 100%. That was really well played. Uh, and, I mean, <laughs> we're looking at a last fight territory here. And, I mean, the ults for GCS are looking juicy. They have a big shatter as well. So, they might even... They're going to be looking to play really high up, I think try and play they have beat coming up online soon and it's a big wall to start things off with the shatter comes out from d-man's though and is going to manage to cancel and we're going to see the ult coming out another shatter is returned and nothing is found and the game ended no one touched they never touched mm. no one i think the, the slam from lagoleth right at the end there stopped that 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 the scream scared me. I know, I did too. I was, about, I was just getting ready to you know take over to start start slamming words out and then then it's over. It's yeah, over. I'm watching it. Obviously, the stream's a bit delayed, so I'm watching it back. And there was a wall placed from mm. someone, I think. Completely stopped. I think um, uh, D-Man John tried to charge to get into point, but the wall was placed, and it completely stopped uh, their ability to walk in. That's a 3-0 for um, GCS. They've kept it alive. Yeah, no, 100%. I mean, it's insane that they won that map uh, off... Uh, 
it's like we were talking about one off that um, play from Todd. You know, let's let's give a shout out to Todd playing the support, like you were saying, maybe a bit of a DPS part in that. Um, but I mean, in saying that they managed off that the pick and the kill alone, and then the storm to win not only the point, but then go on to keep that undefeated streak uh, of maps, win the game three now, and uh, yeah, I mean. <laughs> Beautifully played. I, I, I thought it was gone. I thought the streak was over. I was expecting to go to a fourth map, you know, I. on that. And, and all of a sudden, yeah, like you see, I, I, I remember the shout. <laughs> Todd's got a kill. Yeah. Uh, you know, he, this man, he, he baptized on his own, kind of out of position, you know, from where his team was. Mm -hmm. And he's able to just drop three headshots consecutively and, and able to find a kill. Keeping the fight open, Lagerleff comes in, like I said, Lemon, we saw it so many times, his wall riding was so mm. clinically perfect, he came flying from spawn, dropped straight onto point, keeping it alive, Lagerleff walking in, yeah, all of a sudden, they, they, they've saved it, and then the, the fight after that, again, it seemed like it was lost, mm. and yet, I think the... the Yestin's nades on Bastion, his grenades were so perfectly placed throughout this entire series. The amount of damage he was doing off just that one click. Yeah. So well placed. Now, 3 0, you know, they're they're six and oh now. Yeah. GCS. I think I think we should hear from the team. What do you think? I I, I like that idea, D B. I think we might have found a special someone. I know people at GCS are gonna be well excited to hear this but yeah we've got one of the players uh let's go jump in the room with him now shall we db yeah not only one of the players the captain of gcs let's head over to the uh interview room let's... and uh and yeah let's get go. it going sorry to bring it I was hello just hello 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 Ooh, turn it down a bit. hello how are you feeling after that win i mean <laughs> well, that was quite a tense ending I'm, I'm sorry to put you through that i know <laughs> Did you? Yeah, I, I mean, we I had no clue what caught, to do. I don't know if you caught on stream. So, because we were going from codes, uh, the second the game mode ends, the yeah, it just ends. It ends. Just yeah, so I honestly was scared. It it, it jumped out at me. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it, was, uh, it was quite an interesting fight. I won't lie. Uh, it was quite a sloppy fight. That entire last map was <laughs> very, very bad. Yeah, I mean, you say that, but I mean, the the um, I think Exeter played very well. Uh, um, yeah, yeah. And and at the same time though, Todd, uh, you know, what a what play! Man. I know what a play to be able to get yeah. you to There's get you that pick, Ooh. and then uh, we thought it was over. I'll be completely honest. We were talking about your streak of maps ending and everything. We were waffling. We weren't even talking about the game anymore. And then the, you guys managed to keep the touches and keep getting picks. Yeah, and yeah. Win it talk all. us through. Yeah. Talk us through what was going through your head when you know you, you think the fight's lost, <laughs> and Todd's alive, and you're going, "Hang on, mate, you got to keep us. Yeah, you got to keep us going." I think it was like I was the closest person to point, and I was all the way back in spawn. And I could just see him all the way over there on point alone. I'm like, oh, he's not gonna do this. He's gonna die. It's over. Mm. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep walking, obviously, because that's what I'm gonna do. But, oh, it's over. It's over. <laughs> but then, yeah, no, Lemon comes in and speeds me on the point just finally to get the touch. Yeah, yeah, it was yeah, a big was... pick. Yestin got a pick with the ult as well. I mean, it was literally, yeah. it was yeah, like yeah, the sun, the sun and the moon, and everything aligned for a perfect eclipse of you guys keeping your streak. Yeah, and we'd just done enough damage to the Rhine as well mm. that Lemon could finish yeah. it off. Honestly, there were moments there where I was like, oh, it's not gonna... Oh. <laughs> but yeah, we just I think we just had the individual clutch to, mm. to pull out. It shouldn't have been that close, though. We should have no. played better. Well, we, we mentioned at the start of the stream, you know, it, it was kind of a clash of titans there. Uh, first, first in the ranking going up against second in the ranking. Mm. How does it feel to have that behind your belt now, to know, like, how, you know, these guys are our close rivals and we've, we've taken them? Yeah, it's definitely like, because, you know, the way the Swiss format works, you don't really see how all the teams play. You only yeah. team, play teams like you. Yeah. And so, yeah, there are teams like Exeter that's like, we don't really know what they are and what they're like. Mm. So just, just to be able to say now, yes, we are concrete. Mm. Yeah. Better. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. yeah we, we, like, we know exactly what the teams are, our next teams beneath us are. We know exactly Ooh. what second and third seed are like. Yeah. yeah. Now, we can that's, that's 18 maps on the trot, you know, yet to yeah. yet to drop a map. I think, you know, I, I've got to think you, you want to keep the streak going. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I was thinking about it the other day. We, I mean, GCS, if you don't include final performances, mm -hmm. GCS haven't dropped a map since the winter split 2021. Whew. That is a now streak. That is a title right there. I know. That, 
That, if you do include finals, <laughs> well, let, let's yeah. not. Let, it makes the stat less yeah. impressive. Yeah, let's yeah. Only, only to include finals. Only to include yeah, finals. no, but yeah. congratulations uh, on keeping the streak alive and playing a really great game. Um, we hope more great things are to come from both uh, you and your team. Definitely, yeah. Thank, thank you for the amazing captain performance. Aww. Thank you very much. Thank, thank you very, very much. much. See you soon. Ta-da. Uh, bye. Cheers. And we'll wait a second for DB to join back up with me because uh, I've moved over back to the Discord. Uh, but uh, I was just saying, DB, what a game. What a game. I mean, could you ask for a better game? Well, I mean, better final uh, ending game. I know, I know. Lagerlef being a bit critical there, calling his hmm. teams play a bit sloppy on that last map. But you got to think, you like you commented on, was it was it playing sloppy or was it Exeter doing really well? It's hard to say. You know, the ults I think were so well placed. Now, I it's not a it's not a necessity. It's not a necessity for this league. Um, but should we should we have a bit of an MVP? Conversation? Oh, I was gonna suggest it if you weren't. I love an MVP talk. So, you know, one from each team. It will be a tough one. But I, I want to hear what you think, DB. I know you you've got some names rolling in, uh, in your tongue. Uh, so go on. Yeah, I I always like take a take a few notes throughout the stream <laughs> and and get some people's names written down and stuff. There's two names that are jumping out to me from the side of Exeter. We'll cool. start with the uh, uh obviously. No, no team's actually an away team, but we're casting from the side of GCS. Mm -hmm. I, I myself am part of GCS. Um, so, so we're kind of, you know, from the away team of Exeter. Mm -hmm. um, the names that are jumping out to me are D-Man John oh, yeah. and, and Elzer. I'm hoping I'm pronouncing that yeah. right if, if you're watching this. <laughs> I feel like we've just said a different name every time we've tried to uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> pronounce the poor man's name. But yeah, no, I completely agree. Both of them played so well. Yeah, no, I, and I think... D Man John's Reinhardt was was beautiful. Mm. Lagolef able to match that. Uh, it is kind of his specialty character. Mm. I know because I've I've had to scrim with his Reinhardt many times. <laughs> had to. Uh, but <laughs> but uh, D Man John, you know, he kind of knew what he was doing there. We saw he felt it, it seemed like he felt a bit uncomfortable on the Sigma, didn't it? But mm -hmm. as soon as he got onto that Reinhardt, he knew what he was doing. His slams were perfectly placed. You know, on that first map, going all the way to what feels like yesterday, um, Antarctica, yeah. dropping a headshot with a slam is not something you see every day, is it? <laughs> no, 100%. I completely agree. I think both of them played so insanely well. I'm hoping... Yeah, that, that, that Baptiste from Elza. The, yeah. The damage he was doing, and then also on the Alari, which yeah. said a bit controversial pick, but, but yeah. it did a lot for the team. No, 100%. It, it definitely was... Uh, insanely uh insanely useful and i think the other thing is that what we're not you know commenting on as much because it's kind of hard to is you know the ability uses the immortality feels how how they're playing so safe they didn't die very much yeah so like that is something that we just you know we don't have time in the middle of these fights unfortunately to say all these things but it's something that you definitely should be keeping an eye out and i think alza played insanely well uh, and managed to also i think have really great synergy with their team yeah, um, yeah. The, the positioning I think is is like you highlighted that that the the synergy and positioning you, each uh, the, on the Alari on the Baptiste the knew where to be. They yeah. knew where to position themselves to to get the most out of both of their characters. So to, personally, Elza is going to be my vote for MVP for uh, Exeter. Yeah, I'm happy with that. I'll uh, I'll match you with that. Now flip into you know you said the away side, so let's call them the home side. Um, a lot of people you could pick um, for the MVP on uh, yeah, on GCS. Yeah. Uh, any names that jump to your mind? Or now the the man we just spoke to does scream. Mm -hmm. Lagolef. Scream. We, we saw uh, we saw a lot of uh, clutch Reinhardt plays. We did indeed. Um, but then also off the back of that, you know, a clutch play in particular. Todd. Oh, Todd. He Todd. Uh, I should say the um. The definite article, Todd. Um, <laughs> the he knows. Yeah, the, the, he knows so that, well paid on that. Sorry, no, carry on. I was just gonna say he knows that he is the Todd, and he, he is the Todd. Did that with the performance. I showed he showed us that. Yeah, he played like the Todd. Man. Um, uh, keeping the team alive, absolutely. Uh, mm -hmm. Keeping the, the the map win streak alive. So you got to think that's got to do a lot for the morale as yeah. well. Think, thinking of the long term benefits. Um, but, but I, uh, I think. I think There's one player. I think we both. Yeah. Uh, I've, I've tra traveled down the same path. I was thinking the same thing. I was going to say, what was their name? Lemon? It was as well. Lemon was the Lucio player, right? Lucio? Yeah. 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 I want to give a shout out to them. I thought they played 
also insanely well. Um, Lucio has such a potential. You were so clutch, definitely. And I mean, you are what carries the team's um, travel and the team's uh, ability, isn't it? You know, yeah. like like Laglef said, they wouldn't have made it to point uh, if it weren't for Lemon Speed Boost. Yeah, hundred uh, percent. And you're the one. I, I don't know what the comms are like, but often you have a massive say on the tempo of the plays. And I mean, if you win, then um, you know there's something there's something to be proven in that. You know, there's something. Yeah. This the it's a showing of your skill. I mean, every player I think in this game played exceptionally well. We saw. I think this is one of the games that we've casted with the highest, um, you know, skill uh, per yeah. player. Absolutely. Every player. Absolutely. I feel like I could I think, I think, give me enough time. I could say rank, something good about every player here. Yeah, average rank was I think GM. Yeah. Uh, but for my sorry, my, I, um, I got off track. <laughs> I forgot. That's okay. That's okay. For my MVP shout, I'm going to the 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 DPS line. I know people get annoyed mm. when you give MVPs to DPS, the little yeah. flashy plays. Um, Go it's on. gonna be mini. I, I think that that May play was incredible. Shout out to Yastin. He was able to build off the back of a lot of the plays. But I think Mini just opened the door to so many fights. And that Antarctic fight, mm. 3v5, dropping the mail, walking in, finding every single member of Exeter. <laughs> yeah, no, 100%. I mean, it felt like every fight. It, you know, you said the Bastion was the win con. I definitely agree. Bastion is the one that does all the damage. But at the same time, they're, they're also playing for the May. They, they're playing. It felt like almost every fight they were playing for their mail. And I mean, you could say the. <laughs> there's a joke here, and you'll hear it say it. You could say the same about uh, Say playing the, the May on the other side with Click. Um, but I mean, ultimately, one team did win today, and that was GCS. So, you know, you've got to look at uh, Mini's play and just really marvel at the the, the ability um, and the walls. And it was just every part of it. It was also their ability to just be a little bit away from the team, you know, be knocked out a little bit far and still hold their ground. I think that was really what helped um, with everything. Yeah. So, uh, am I uh, am I okay in saying we're going to lock in Mini? Yep. As our, our MVP for GCS, and we're gonna lock in Elzer as our MVP for Exeter. Say it again. Let's say it a different way as well, just in case, so we can cover Elzer, all the bases. El Elzer, El <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a good name. It's just I wish uh, I wish I had a bit of briefing on how to say yeah, it. Yeah, we, sh we should have reached out. Yeah, we we shouldn't have the chance. We should ask next time. We'll make sure we know how to say everyone's names. So we do apologize if anyone watches, like we said earlier, and we did mess up. Believe it or not, we have done that before, and we will do it again. So, but yeah, <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Uh, I think that's everything, is it, from you, DB? Yeah, that, that's everything. You know, I just want to say uh, thank you to anyone that, that has come out or will come out. Um, hopefully the VOD will be posted somewhere to be watched. Okay. Um, <laughs> did we check that the VODs were saved before this? <laughs> did not, but I think yeah. I, I've been recording it all, so if needs be, I can... Lovely, lovely. But yeah, so so thank you to anyone that watches this. Um, it was our first stream from the... the the BEF tournament mm -hmm. from the GCS Owls. Hopefully, we'll be able to do more in the future. If you guys, if you guys have enjoyed it, uh, <laughs> let us know. Uh, you know, either, either drop us a message if you can, if you can find us. That is, or go speak to GCS. Go speak to Neil and and speak to the, those guys and let them know that you are happy with us. It'd be greatly appreciated if you were happy. <laughs> <laughs> if you were happy. I mean, are we are we allowed to plug anything? Just like a little one thing. There's no one here to stop. Yeah. <laughs> I was just going to say, if you want to, if you do want to say anything to us, so we have a Twitter that is for, I don't know if you've seen the logo pop up sometimes when we've been transitioning. So um, it's at DJ Productions uh, IX. That's all uh, like an I N N X, like the nine. It's a little bit of law um, behind that. But uh, <laughs> if you do want to say hi or anything, that's probably the easiest way to reach us. Um, yeah. So feel free to, you know, jump on there, shoot us a DM or anything. Um, give us a follow if you want but you know no pressure at all and yeah like a, we want to say thank you again for gcs for letting us um cast this game and we do hope to cast more in the future hopefully we see exeter facing them again because i really did enjoy watching exeter play it was a uh, also can yeah. i say their name i just want to see if any exeter players are here the name is amazing exe being the star of exeter and odyssey exe oh, it's, it's genius if i can be completely <laughs> honest. I, 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 when DB told me how it worked, we were sat here marveled for a good few, uh, good few minutes. But on that note, but, I th yeah, I think it's that, that's gonna be it, isn't it? Calling it, a, calling it a day on our first BEF GCS Owls stream. <laughs> that was a lot of letters, but yeah, that is the end. So thank you once again, um, 
from uh, DB and me, Jay. We're going to be leaving you. Uh, I know this is our first room here. We always leave you with Winston. Uh, so, you know, a little bit of jazz, a little bit of jazz, little, little, little bit of jazz, and a little bit of Winston. What is better? So, yeah, like we say, we hope to see you all again. So, uh, Tara from us yeah. for now. Bye bye. Cheers, guys.